Okay then, well, let's have our people set that meeting up and we'll get started. Looking forward to talking to you soon. Bye. That sounds like an interesting call. What was that about? Remember yesterday when we got that call from the board member of that one company? This was the same call, different company this time, but it was a mid-level manager with the same complaint. Everybody in the company is saying that they need uh, you know, a culture of creativity and innovation. It's in all of their corporate communications these days. It's on their value list and all that. So yesterday it was a board member. Today it's a mid-level manager from a different company with the exact same complaint. And it seems that, like a lot of companies, they're, um, they're trying to figure out how to get their management behaviors and their leader behaviors uh, aligned in a way that can really foster that culture of innovation. So uh, we're going to help them out. That sounds great. You need me to do anything? Well, I'll have some more phone calls with a few more of the executives and mid-level managers. And most likely what I'll do is take them through the 12 strategies. But in this case, I'll probably start with leadership dynamics and measurement and accountability. You know, a lot of companies get into this exact same place, that they know they want innovation. The board of directors is asking for it. The market is asking for it. The CEO is asking for it. But we're reaching this kind of dynamic of what we're calling innovation fatigue. People don't really know what to do about it. Well, what the research has shown us is there are 12 strategies that you can engage in and need to engage in if you really want to build a cultural enterprise of innovation. Today I'm going to talk about two, the two that count most for you as a senior leader or for the senior leaders in your organization. The first has to do with this concept of leadership actions. It doesn't do enough for corporate communications to put into the senior leaders' speeches and written communications the word innovation. That doesn't count. It's not enough. You've got to do that, of course, but it doesn't make a difference when that leader is not behaving in ways that drive a culture of innovation around him or her. Research tells us that about 67% of the variance for a climate of creativity in any organization has to do with the behavior of the leader. And there are specific behaviors that work for and specific behaviors that work against innovation in your organization. As a senior leader or someone trying to influence a senior leader, we have to be in a place where we are behaving in a way that drives innovation forward. So how do you do that? Well, that takes us to a second area, and that's accountability and recognition. There has to be a dynamic that holds senior leaders, the people that report directly to them, and the people down in the organization accountable to a high degree of behavior around innovation. And you can't just say, we need to innovate and not follow up our people doing what they need to do in their line of business. And it's different work for different people in different parts of the business. Your HR VP is going to have a series of things that he or she needs to do to drive innovation. Your VP of manufacturing is going to have a different series of things that he or she needs to do to drive innovation, as will your VP of sales and marketing and any other organizational leader that you've got. There are 12 things that we need to focus on, but the two most important in senior leadership have to do with being held personally accountable and then behaving in ways that are consistent with driving innovation forward. If you don't do that, then most of your efforts are going to fail.